Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be making a game for the Blackthorn Pearl Game Jam. A game jam is a competition where you have to make a game in a short period. You can also use game jams to train yourself. Before beginning with today's video, I want to announce that we are so close to reaching 1.3k subscribers. If you enjoy the content, you can subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you will never miss a new video when I upload. Oh, and also if you want to send fan art, the best way is my Discord server. The fan art that you will send will be in my next video. Today's video is sponsored by Logic Forge. Logic Forge is an add-on that helps you code visually. Logic Forge is recommended for beginners to start making games and for experienced developers to make small prototype. The best thing about Logic Forge is that everyone can use it. Thank you Logic Forge for sponsoring today's video. Alright now, without further ado, let's begin with today's video. The theme of the game jam is less is more. Okay, from the start I knew I f***ed up. My friend told me about the game jam, but I didn't join until there were like 5 days remaining. So I was already late for a couple of days. The plan of the game is that you have a backpack and you have to store items to jump higher and move faster. The art style of the game will be similar to my upcoming 2D game. It only has two colors, black and white. I actually really like this art style. The pixel art will also be 16 by 16 to make it easier for me to draw. The main character is pretty basic, but he also has a backpack that slows him down. As you can see, I made the basic movement. It's nothing special. After I made the movement, I made the camera follow the player. As you can see, the camera is smooth. After that, I added post-processing to make the game look way better than it actually is. That's the definition of post-processing, everyone. After that, I added glowing spikes that kill you. Well, they're not glowing actually, but since I added post-processing, they started glowing. After that, I added a cube that you need to find to store items. When you touch the cube, it will move faster and you will also jump higher. After I added the cube, I finished the first level of the game. The first level is pretty simple. The only challenge is the spikes. So it should be pretty easy to beat. For the second level, I added lava that kills you when you touch. This should add more diversity to the game. Also, there are now two cubes, making it harder to beat the level. For the third level, I added moving spikes, which are taller. Which means that you will have to find a cube to jump over them. Oh, and that's all of the levels. Yep, I know it's not a lot. But this was the maximum that I could make. After the level sided, that's the effect for when you jump and when you turn around. I added this to add more polish to the game. After that, I added sound effects to the game. I added sound effects for when you die, for when you collect the cube, and for when you jump. I also added music to the game. For the music, I added a spooky synthwave song, making it more immersive. Okay, since everything is done, I just need to post the game on itch.io, right? Well, I wish it was that easy. I added a WebGL version for the game, but for some odd reason it didn't work. One hour before the game jam ended, which obviously made me panic. After that, I decided to make the game in an .exe file and upload it before the deadline. Oh, and also, the name of the game is Backpack Man. Yep, I know, very original. The link to the game will be in the description and in the comments down below. So if you could play the game and rate it, that would mean a lot. Before I end the video, I want to announce that I have my own Discord server. On the Discord server, you can talk about game dev, about my channel, and much more. The invite to the server will be in the description and in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, you can subscribe, and plus, we are trying to reach 1.3k subscribers. Stay tuned for more uploads, and until then, I will see you guys in the next video.